Hi everyone, in this short video we're going to go over elements of citation, pulling them directly from an academic article. So we're going to start at the top of this page. Perhaps you uh, received a link to an uh, article or you found an article while you were doing your research and now you want to grab all those elements to create a citation. So when we're looking sort of from the top of the screen going down, one of the first elements is the journal title, in this case, Developmental Cognitive Neuroscience. So that's the journal title, a little bit shorter, but still descriptive. We're talking about neuroscience here. We've got volume 16, December 2015 is the publication date. So we'll definitely need that. And it spans from pages 101 to 109. Also going to need that. We want all of these elements in our citation. That way, whoever is reading your final product, your assignment, your paper, if they find a quote, that you've cited from here, they can go and find this and make sure they're looking at the right article. So all of these elements are really important. Of course, one of the major elements is the article title here. So we would want to use that in our citation. And right below our article title, so the article is this uh, here below that you would be reading and pulling your quotes from. Below that are the authors. So important to list all of them in that final reference at the end of your paper. Um, and then we also want to grab sort of below all of this stuff, the DOI here. So this is really a, a link, a stable link, the persistent link. Uh, DOI is digital object identifier that brings you back to this specific article. If you can find a DOI, that's much more preferred versus just the, uh, the URL at the top. Now, some of you may have noticed this little site button here. Uh, you know, you can use it, but remember, depending on um, if you have some of these programs um, or what it looks like, this is computer generated. So it might not be accurate. As a first year science student, it's really important to be able to identify all of these elements. That way you can identify all of them in case one, the citation feature is not there, or two, if there's an error with it, you know how to fix it. All right, see you in the next video.